Uh, you want to offer people options. You want to offer them choices. And that's trot line fishing. Uh, you know, you keep adding hooks to the line, and the more hooks you add, the more fish you can catch. And that's one of the things we discovered in, in our town. If, if all you have is a Sunday morning service in my community, you're telling 30% of your community you can't come to my church. Because 30% of the people in my community work on Sunday morning. So all the nurses, all the people involved in medical care, all the people involved in restaurants, uh, you know, lots of people uh, working shift work, uh, they, they can't come to church because they're not off on Sunday morning. And so when we started a Saturday night service, uh, all of a sudden we found that we had a whole new fishing pond. We had lots of people who could never go to church on Sunday morning, but now they were available on Saturday evening, and so it, it, it started growing. And now our, uh, we have two services on Saturday night. One of them is the second largest of all five of our services. And uh, we've got a whole, uh, whole other group of people, a whole other target that we're reaching because we, we've put those extra, extra hooks in the water. Now, the reason we usually fish with only one hook is we ask the wrong question. We, we ask the question, how much will it cost you know, if we're going to start doing things to reach more people, we always ask, how much is it going to cost to do that? But when it comes to evangelism, the question isn't, how much will it cost? The question is, who will it reach? Because we want to be driven by faith, not by finances. And the truth is, is that money spent on evangelism is never an, an expense, it's an investment. You know, as you, as you do these things that reach out into the community and you win people, well, then those people come to the church and then they begin to give, they begin to tithe, and they begin to, uh, to pay for themselves. And so churches never really have money problems, they just have idea problems. You need to think beyond the money and think creatively about what you can do to reach more people. Hudson Taylor, great missionary, um, uh, back in the day, he said, God's work done God's way will not lack God's support. Jesus said, go down to the lake and throw in a line. When you catch your first fish, open its mouth and you will find a coin. Take that coin and go pay the tax for us. And so the, the principle that Jesus is teaching there is, is that the money is always in the mouth of the fish. If your church has money problems, you don't really have money problems. You have evangelism problems. You need to reach more people because the more people that you reach, then uh, God will provide. And, uh, and it'll come through the people. If you focus on fishing, God will pay your bills. You know, one of the purposes of the church, one of the early, first, primary purposes of the church is evangelism. And too many churches stop evangelizing because they get focused on the money. They get focused on how much it's going to cost. And now they've turned the thing upside down. They've made, they've made finances more important than evangelism. And, and God closes the mouth of the fish. The church loses its blessing. And now you're, uh, you're headed in a downward spiral. So you want to you keep focused on, uh, on evangelism because that keeps the church fresh, keeps God's blessing. 